Thanks, Dad. We've got many amazing guests coming through today, including RJ Benjamin. We're going to be doing more exercise a bit later on. But yes, uh, they do arrive in dribs and drabs as they do, depending on when they finish makeup and stuff like that. But uh, we are expecting uh, one Simba a bit later on. He's going to be telling us about presenter search. Oh, the, the door just rang. The, the door just rang. Let's just check who's at the door right now. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Hey, hey! It's the man himself! Uh, what it is! Uh, Welcome! Uh, oh, you, you've been dressed uh, in the morning. Uh, uh, <laughs> and look at this, the man brought donuts. some donuts. What's up? Happy you, New Year, bro. And you too, my very, brother. Very good to see you. But Lovely. look at it. Treats in the mornings. But in fact, if you don't know who Simba Mere is, take a look at this. Very nice touch. Yeah. It all began back in 2010 with high hopes, a long queue, and an unmistakable determination as Simba spent the night outside the audition just to make sure he got his chance. The early bird catches the worm, as they say, and with sunrise came Simba's time to shine. So is this the part where you say, oh my God, Carrie, like his arms are so big, and then I run over. Yes. <laughs> and then you say, can I get a grab? Oh, Simba, like your arms are so big, and they really are. Successfully making it through to the top 14 meant Simba needed to rise to the challenge and soon he was on his way to tropical paradise as one of the finalists. Mauritius is known as the jewel of the Indian Ocean. So bearing this in mind, you'd expect to find treasures. And what better way to discover these treasures than down below? Oh, does this thing even fit? I promise you there's a conspiracy against big men. I think that's tight enough. Simba took the chance and gave it everything, providing us with outstanding performances both above and below the sea. This winning combination of going the extra mile and never giving up saw him win and become the presenter he always dreamt to be. If you share the same dream, now is your chance to take part in the exciting new Presenter Search on 3. Yeah, well, some people have referred to him as the Black Michael Mole. Some say he's half man, half amazing. <laughs> Simba, man, dude, how are you doing, man? I'm good, man. So good to be back. It's different. I I've got to ask first. Yes. Why donuts? Because I mean, you you you're supposed to bring gifts, but like, why donuts? Yeah, because sometimes I come here and there's no there's no really breakfast. That's not true. You know what I mean? Well, and you also you needed you needed something to have with your with your. <laughs> he fails to mention you bought coffee. those yesterday. Those are, those are a day old. But anyway, oh, right. uh, I won't get in too much into that. Leave but um, a chocolate one for Leanne. Oh. Okay, okay. Mm. Listen, um, let's talk quickly about you, because I mean, we're looking at like the full package of what you are. You, you're an athlete, I understand. Um, yeah. In fact, there was one time where you told me that you were going to go for trials to play possibly in the NFL, right? Well, it was a trials to go to Michigan State University to go and play college football. Yeah. And that was just as the presenter search happened, and I just desired one, so it was a matter of guarantees, because this was just the trial versus this job that I already had, so it was like, what do I take? Exactly. And I, I took top link. My goodness. And then, I mean, you, you bring in like a, a whole bunch of things together in, in terms of your, your talent. Not only are you uh, brilliant on screen, you're an athlete, you, uh, when you do your links, you're amazing. What do you think is, are those qualities that uh, possible seekers of this new job need to have? I think it's just basically having good general knowledge about a lot of different things. Because yeah. you're in different situations, you need to sort of know what you're talking about, or at least do your research. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm with the sports guys, I know what I'm talking about because I love my sport. From yeah. cricket to tennis to rugby, I know what I'm talking about. So that, that makes it easier for me. But mm -hmm. I think just in general, you need to have good general knowledge. Yeah. And I heard also that, that you've tried uh, stand-up comedy? Yeah. <laughs> for real? I don't even know how the producers found that. Like, yeah, I did stand-up comedy. <laughs> For a little bit, it's it's an exhilarating experience. Yeah, I've got to tell you that because now people have paid to laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, not yeah, like yeah. when you MC and like you just throw it in there and then they laugh. Oh, I didn't know you're so funny, man. And now all of a sudden you're on stage and people have paid to laugh. How'd it go? It went really well. well what was your opening line? Can you remember your opening we line? Actually, to we actually, we actually. Yeah, Gosh, what was my opening line? I don't know if I can even say it oh, again. No. Oh, oh, is it one of those jokes? <laughs> it was one of those jokes. So you're that kind of comedian? Uh, no, not that kind of comedian, but I threw it a bit in there just to give them a bit of salt, you know what I mean? Because they thought <laughs> I was speaking to me this a bit of salt, a bit of salt. <laughs> okay, cool. But listen, this is very exciting now because the opportunity for somebody out there to become the newest face on SA yeah. Television is, is here. Um, what can you tell us about it? Uh, Auditions-wise, where can people uh, find out more about it and uh, be part of the search? Well, this presenter search this year uh, is very different. We're looking for three presenters. Yeah. One for Expressa, one for Top Bling, and one for a new show that's going to be on SABC3. And they can mm -hmm. find all the details at www.presentersearchon3.com. Mm -hmm. And the Twitter handle, Twitter handle is BeFoundOn3. 
Mm. Be right. found on three. And in fact, those dates are in Cape Town, Friday the 13th, nothing bad luck about that. <laughs> Saturday the 14th of February, and then we go to Port Elizabeth on the 22nd of February. Yeah. Uh, we go to Durban on the 28th uh, of February and the 1st of March in Johannesburg, 6th, 7th and 8th of March. Mm -hmm. Give us maybe maybe some advice on how to calm those nerves down because what, what usually happens, I think, is you have one shot, right? Because you walk yeah. into the room and you've got to prepare something. What, what's, what's your ultimate tip to get over those nerves and just give that killer performance? I think you need to be rehearsed. You need to know what you're talking about. At the same time, you need to be able to sound non-rehearsed. Yeah. So you, know, you walk in there, you know what you're talking about. If they throw something at you, you need to be able to work with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if, if you're not spontaneous enough for it, then this is not going to work for you because you know how this is. We get stuff thrown at you all the time. True, true, true. So you have to be able to go all the time. So if you don't have guns like, like Simba, you can't <laughs> flash them in front of GED. Like this fight no something out. Zone. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Can we get a shot of that? He just did that. No. Show them again, please. No. Nope. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Happy breakfast, ladies and gentlemen, all across Mzansi. Especially to you, Leanne. You've been allocated the chocolate donut. How does that feel? 